What's up guys? This is Kev Kev Loves to Eat. I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about the FSL, the Foam Soft League. Um, and I'm here to tell you guys that our members of the Foam Soft League, what we're really doing. So we have these monthly meetups. Everybody gets together to meet new players, new auxiliary, new team members. We get together, we have missions, we have fun, we talk about builds. Um, that's all what we do. Um, the meets are very important, pivotal to, you know, bonding with one another and creating team environment. Uh, also, the familiarity with how you guys play with each other makes you uh, more, like, prone to want to play together in other games. And it also kind of creates and furthers our community. So, what's the FSL really do? Well, guys, all of you auxiliary that train... Uh, you come to training missions, you come to meets, you come to missions and games. Everything that you do for all of those, even a real mission, it is a training mission. So when you're out there doing a the thing like looking for the sniper and the fire team is with you and you're giving out those commands, you're splitting off into teams and you're working coordinated attacks on the radio, it's still a training mission because you're still learning how to use your gear. You're still learning how to work together, and it'll be a long time before everybody really can run an actual mission. A mission mission would be, you know, team versus team on a proper course and somewhere private. So it would be a lot more, you know, in-depth, um, more of an RPG LARPing thing. And that kind of creates what we do for the second half of the FSL. And that's on these missions that we go out on and when we do training simulations. We set up a, um, a script so that basically uh, you get the mindset in your imagination that you're actually doing something like a mission mission instead of just going out to shoot foam. Uh, and when you, the players actually get into it and they read the scripts and they follow the cues and they get their intel packages and they know where their supply drops are, uh, it furthers the game and it makes it a lot more fun for everybody. And uh, it's that Call of Duty uh, aspect that brings about the mill sim environment. Uh, no, we're not soldiers, but we are taking our missions from actual missions, actual strategic stuff. Um, I do a lot of research uh, to get as accurate and as close to details as possible. It would be cooler if I had some veterans to, you know, help further that, uh, even, you know, help continue to further train people tactically uh, so that we as the FSL can operate as a team and do team V teams and welcome the new members and show them what we really do. Uh, it's not just nerf. It's, it's a totally elevated style of play. High FPS, no caps. Please don't bring anything over 500 FPS and know that you will have a minimum engagement distance, a.k.a. an MED, um, and that sidearms, you know, are short darts only kind of thing. Um, flywheels are permitted. Uh, everything has a place. Everyone has a has a has an opportunity to be important. Um, this is for leadership and development. This is for team play. This is a community. Uh, a community within a community that supports the community. <laughs> so again, just wanted to tell y'all that the FSL has opportunities for everybody. It's not just a military style thing. I hear people tell me that they're not physically fit enough to do it. We don't run a lot. Sometimes we do on those open fields, trench missions, yes. But sometimes it's, you know, a lot of sit and lay wait. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. This has been fun talking to you about the FSL, Dallas, Fort Worth, Foam Soft League. Um, we play with Nerf darts, highly powerful, competitive grade blasters. And uh, we take it to the next level. Nerf times 18 million. Get into it.